Hello YouTubers, it's Basketball of the Last Alliance, and here's a little gameplay that I whipped up, put in the NW2 disc, and started playing, got a Wasteland 62 and 6, and this will be the background. I'm mainly just going to talk, so here's just something to watch while you listen to me. Uh -huh. Yep, so, anyways, I do want to talk about Black Ops 2. Um... For all of you who do not know what's going on with it, I'll go into some of the details, some of the features I'm excited about, some of those that I'm not so excited about, but, um, basically it's Call of Duty in 2025, and I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, guys, um, leave comments as to what you think, but my, my fear is that it turns into Halo. I mean, yeah, sure, Halo's all that, but why would I want two Halos. I mean, if I want to play Halo, I'll play Halo. If I want to play Call of Duty, I'll play Call of Duty. And I hope it is Call of Duty and not Halo that we're gonna, gonna be seeing. I, 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 I would like to shy away from, like, blaster cannons and thunder guns, you know, you know what I'm talking about. The Halo classic super guns and super soldiers. But, um, I think it, it it's a good idea. It's a step in the right direction, although I don't know if this will be the game that um, can accurately follow up Black Ops, but it's it's breaking out of the style, and I like it. I mean, I'll give it a try. Um, I'm kind of excited for it, and if you haven't heard this, they just leaked a uh, picture saying that Nuketown 2025 would be awarded to anyone who pre-ordered the game. So go pre-order right now, guys. I know, um, well, might, you might be having difficulty pre-ordering it, but it's worth it. Because wouldn't you want to play Nuketown 2025? That means it's a revamped, remade Nuketown. So, it's Nuketown, but in the future, in 2025. Which, it sounds really cool. I mean, Nuketown, classic. You know, the hand-to-hand, -hand, a foot away from the person you're shooting at combat where you both knife and you both miss and then it's like oh crap and then you just both stare at each other for a little bit you know that feeling yeah that happens so much to me on nuketown because you know well first of all there's no commando i guess um I don't know. is there a perk for that i don't know but you're so used to like the modern warfare 2 knifing but anyway um it's gonna oh that guy just got a triple kill nuke dude i got my hair used, by the way i think this is a multi-kill but, um, they're releasing Nuketown 2025 as a DLC map to anyone who pre-orders the game, which I think that's just awesome. And there's other rewards, too. Some of them haven't been named. I think there's a prestige token you can get if you pre-order on Modern Warfare 3, which is sweet. Um, you know, extra custom class, titles and stuff, you know what I'm talking about. And, um... Also, in Black Ops 2, I'm excited about this, zombies of course, they're bringing it to 4 on 4 zombies. They haven't officially released how they're going to do this, but there's speculation that it'll be, um, like, a team of 4 versus another team of 4, and whoever gets the most score wins, or, um, my personal favorite guess, if it's like multiplayer, but there's zombies involved so you have to worry about not only the zombies but other players trying to kill you and the you know, kill streaks and everything so i guess that would bring out a uh, twist to it but i think that's a good idea and i just got knifed and that's like two away from being buzz killed on the nuke so that sucks but if we can get zombies four on four multiplayer i'll be extremely happy I've, that's definitely true that there's a 4v4 zombies mode. They just haven't clarified it much. Um, the other thing I'll be excited about is obviously the single player. I don't know if you saw the uh, official trailer, but I watched it and it was awesome. I mean, you guys know I like to snipe. I jump off of random buildings and spin a bunch of times. And, uh, and it works out pretty well for me sometimes. But... What if you could see through buildings with a thermal scope that saw through pillars and it was literally a charge gun? The um, senior officer at Treyarch was talking about this gun 
And what it is, is it shoots pulses, not bullets, electric pulses. And, um, the guy who's interviewing me asked him if it was, uh, realistic to life, and he goes, well, it's not actually a real gun that's been made, but it's not in that much of the distant future, and it is in Black Ops 2. So, it's definitely multiplayer. They will have to nerf it, and what it looks like is it's going to be charged, so the longer you scope in, the more it can pass through, based on um, the length of your scoping time, which I don't really like because it promotes hard scoping, but, I mean, it's genius, and in fact, I just ran them, semtexted me, semtexted me, semtexted me, that's it, okay, but... I think it's it's a great idea to have a gun that can go through walls because what if you're game playing and you just know that there's a camper there, he's killed you the past two lives, and you want to go, oh, well, I can shoot him through the wall or through the rock or whatever. Well, I guess now you can, and that's what the director of Treyarch was uh, talking about. And I just RPG'd myself. That's a little bit embarrassing. Doesn't matter, I had a pretty good spawn. I'll get my nuke. Oh, spoiler alert. But, yeah, that's already three. And, definitely, guys, leave comments as to what you think Black Ops 2 should be. And, what I should talk about about it. Because, pretty well informed. Um, if you look on YouTube, there's trailers and everything. You know, want me to put them up. Just post a message or something. And, um... That's pretty much it for Black Ops 2. That's all I've heard that sounds that interesting. Um, keep me informed, though. Um, I'll go back to talking about the gameplay. That's my Harrier. Got my six kill streak, and I put him in that same spot, which got me a multi kill earlier, and that's pretty cool, you know. When you get your uh, chopper gunner just from the multi kill airstrike. Um, these people are annoying, though. They've been taking out everything, and there they go again. I think they destroyed... Are my hair is still up? I can't even see. But, I don't think there are. I just need two more. And, you know, it's a pretty good spot. Although, I hate coming around this corner, and you should never come around this corner in the open. Especially when they're, you know they're snipers. You know they're sniping. But, he didn't have a chance. The RPD is so overpowered. It's basically taking a airsoft gun into a nerf war. It's kind of unfair. Because it has basically unlimited, as much as you want to shoot it in one mag, you you can. And then, it's got 100 extra shots, so you have two 100 shot mags. And then, of course, it's so powerful, it takes two bullets to kill someone. And this is really risky, I really shouldn't have done this, but... Theme <laughs> for the chopper gunner. I guess that that's the classic move, you know, the RPG. I just hope I don't get the Semtex over the wall, but I gotta hurry, because I think the game's almost over. But, this is my second chopper gunner of the game. It would've been cool if I got two nukes, but I got buzz killed on, you know, two away from being buzz killed on the first one. That's what I like about Wasteland, though, is it's just unbelievably open. If you have a chopper gunner, you get multi-kill after multi-kill after multi-kill. And that's just, that's satisfying. You can't even imagine how satisfying it is. And I cannot get this last kill. There we go. Yep. Come on. Come on, chopper gunner. Oh, they killed me. I think I need like one more or something. Something crazy like that. Yeah. Nope. Oh, why'd I shoot that guy? I don't know. I think he was he might have been the one trapping me in the corner last game. Or no, I was the one trapping him in the corner last game. And I'm kinda nervous because I don't want to go out too far. Oh, there's a guy. And there's one. If I'm not wrong, this is... Ooh, I need one more for nuke. But, I don't know. But now nukes are kind of commonplace. I mean, pretty much every game you go in, one will put you get to nuke. Which I think is kind of weird, but... This is fine. Oh, I'm wrong. One more now, I guess. And so... I just need a couple more. I think it's one. I'm pretty sure this is my new. But, I have to cut off, because it's got to be 10 minutes. But there's my new. You won't get to see me call it in, because 10 minutes. So, bye. Leave comments about Black Ops 2. What you, um, 
expect from it, what you want from it. I guess.